everybody. Today is day three of our time here in Aruba. Um, it's Sunday, it's currently 10.05 a.m. We're gonna get some coffee. We're gonna find a coffee shop. We haven't really found a coffee shop here yet um, because every time we go to look, they're closed or yeah, we just have other plans in the morning. Um, so we're gonna find a coffee shop and then we have our catamaran today at 12.30. I believe um, and that'll be fun we'll be hanging out on the beach on the boat in the water scoop diving kind of tired <laughs> I slept good but at about seven o'clock I thought there was a fire alarm going off it was like a really loud noise you woke me from a sleep <laughs> this is true I was like babe Babe, is that a fire alarm? Babe, is that a fire alarm? I think it's a fire alarm. And I like woke up, I didn't know if it was coming from like one of the rooms next door. And then Bethany like looked outside. It was raining pretty bad. So she opened it and it almost sounded like a like a siren. Some like sort of like, like a, a, a flood morning. siren or like a storm siren. I don't know if they have that over here. I'm sure they do, but it's like I don't know what it sounds like because <laughs> we've never been here. Um, but I think, long story short, I think it was just somebody like working on something in the area and the sound was just like vibrating and echoing in our building, which was weird. So no. after that, I went back to sleep. <laughs> For a little too long. Yeah, so here we are now awake and heading to coffee, so. Yeah, just want to say good morning. Yeah, okay, I'm tired. <laughs> shop um, oh I don't think they really do much coffee here not like they do not like in the States it's not like you get flavors or anything they don't do miles kind of coffee what you order the specialty coffees yes, too yes they don't have syrup they do like the so traditional yeah. like lattes cappuccinos um, no flavored syrups so far that we found anyway that's okay. It's probably better for me. Crazy things. <laughs> our flight back a day and uh, we'll start from there if it's too much money we're just gonna say no probably and uh, it'll definitely be easier that way to be honest because we'll have less to change um, but I think we'd also really enjoy just another day because today we'll, we'll be out on the catamaran for like 
most of the day it don't feel like probably no four we'll be hours. back by four i mean but it's like a long time. good middle middle of the day so either way we're thankful to be here and it's been really nice yeah we definitely yeah. recommend coming here if you guys are looking to get away on a nice like tropical island it gets busy like during the night time nightlife here is popping it's like we went to this like market plaza during the day and it was pretty dead like literally nothing was even open to be honest there were only a select few things that were open um at night totally different everything was open people were walking about having their time and uh having their time having a good time and uh we were just <laughs> yeah wandering yeah we were wandering we didn't know what to do so oh we should try that craft place mm -hmm. too see there's still so many things to do so little time we're trying 12 coffees today just to catch up <laughs> not really <laughs> all right well if you guys are watching this clip and you have any other travel suggestions for us let us know because matt told us about aruba matt said he loved aruba we too now love aruba who would have known so we just extended our stay another day um still have to confirm everything else that we booked but we changed our flight we pushed it back a day um so it isn't too drastic of a change but it's funny because we actually saved money we saved money staying here longer in aruba which we were not expecting we were definitely expecting there to be some sort of price uh increase or like a rebooking fee um, there was like a seating fee, but it was only a fraction, like it wasn't even that much. It was really like 30 bucks for both of us to have our seats changed pretty much. It was honestly just unheard of. We are kind of just like, can we have a second when we were on the phone with a lady? Like, we're saving money, like wanting to stay longer. <laughs> I don't know, we don't fly that much, so Maybe this is a common thing, maybe it's not, not really sure, but we're here walking around trying to get our souvenir situation um, settled for our family and uh, yeah, we'll be on the, on the boat in about an hour, so yeah. So we're on the catamaran, about to get our scuba on. No, snorkel. Sorry, I keep saying scuba. But, uh, we're chilling. All right. Feeling fancy. Feeling fancy. Are you excited? Yeah. About to drink all the Shirley Temples I can. While I can. So we just went to our first snorkeling spot and we saw a shipwreck. It's pretty cool. Um, I couldn't show you guys obviously because I don't have an underwater camera or yeah, I can't take my phone. But anyway, it was really cool. We're here at the second spot. It's like shallow, six to eight feet, he said. We can see some fish. And uh, yeah, we're really just enjoying our time out here in the water, on the boat, getting, uh, you know, some food, some drinks. And uh, yeah, about to go enjoy again, so. Whoa, you got two crabs, man. Good job, Landon.
I wonder how big they get. I know, they're so big. I've never seen that little. Down the side. So we're just chilling on the beach now. We just got off the catamaran. I kind of got dizzy. I have terrible sea legs. And I think floating out in the ocean while we were s snorkeling was like making it worse for me to be honest. Cause it was like I was on a little raft floating and following the waves. But we're just gonna ch be chilling on the beach for a little bit with everybody. So yeah, it's been a pretty relaxing day so far. Um, just wanted to check in, I guess. What did I say? Snorkeling was cool. It was really cool. Um, the fish were touching my hands. Yeah. And there was a lot of fish we could see in the shallower end. Even some big ones. Yeah, some big ones. Saw a lot of schools. The boat was really cool. The fish. Yeah. I was amazed once I found it. Protein ball. Cookie Monster protein ball. What the fuck? It's blue. Mm. There's a date in the middle. You see all the chairs all the way. So we are currently just chilling, waiting for dinner. Um, I think we're going to be grabbing some tacos. Uh, so. We will show you guys the place. Matt recommended this place. It's called Craft. Craft and Lola serve like coffee. It's a bar, so um, but they have really good tacos. Matt says so. We're definitely gonna be checking that stuff out, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, see you guys when we get there. All right. Where are we? Craft. Lola and Craft. I thought it was Craft and Lola. Chicken taco, carne asada, chicken. Enjoy, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Korean taco was the best one. Then the steak, then the chicken for me. Um, and we we're getting lattes, and they have syrup here. So double thumbs up. And uh, yeah, we're gonna find the place for dessert afterward. So, yeah, happy. Rate your tacos. I like them all for different reasons. I like them all for different reasons. Well, you have to rate them. Can I have a minute to think? No. Happy birthday. Get. 
what I got. I'll have to try my cappuccino. Yup, needs to be stirred. Get out of here. About to try my latte. It's good. Not sweet enough for me, but nothing usually is, so still good though. Hey there guys, come and try a free sample of our famous Dutch poppages. so much all right we got um what the heck are they called i have no idea i forget but they're he said they're like crepes mini crepes from holland i got nutella bethany got lemon we taste them they were really good they're like it's like a street food dessert from holland Welcome to the Food Network. Like you know, put him in the garden, make, make him make him clean your car or his car. 